All right, welcome to the email profits checkout page. So if you are using your own checkout process uh, and you want to send someone to this page, uh, if you're using your own merchant account, you would need your own checkout page. If you're using uh, PayPal standard, uh, you would just use theirs. You probably won't even need this. But if you're using Stripe, um, Authorize.net, uh, anything where you're using your own merchant account, keeping people on your own website, you need your own checkout page. So let me show you how to edit this thing real quick. The background right here is in the page settings. Actually, excuse me, it is in the color scheme settings, page color. Then we are going to go to all overall page color options. And then we have a repeating background in there. You can remove that if you don't like it. You can choose a background color right there if you prefer and then update that. The header is in the layouts and header and navigation. You can change your logo right here and select a different background color if you like. Now everything else is in this row here. So you click on the pencil and that will change the uh, border on the top and the bottom. That yellow stripe you see, you can change that color. And there it is again down there. You can remove it all together if that's not your thing. Um, over here, we have the little uh, banner, which is just an image I made in Photoshop. And what this does is if you, let's go to the live view here. And if you click on this banner, it gives you a little pop-up that says complete your purchase below to get instant access now you can remove this banner if you don't like it or you can uh, replace it with your own and you just click the pencil and this is a JavaScript uh, image so when you click on it a message comes up so there's the image you can actually right click and save this image and take it into Photoshop erase all this stuff out and replace it with yours or use your own banner image and this is the message that it shows when you click on that image so you would change that and then insert or you can just get rid of this altogether by clicking the X down here is where you're going to change your little headlines and your bullets right here so you can change the icon of those and what they all say right here and then insert that there so that changes need help here's where you enter in your contact information right there and if you don't want that you can just delete that out here's your guarantee which this is just an image if you want to use a different guarantee you don't like this the reason I use this image is so that way I can do a pop-up JavaScript alert that gives them this message when they click on the guarantee you can use a different guarantee image if you like uh, privacy policy security this SSL little lock padlock thing is just an image and that wraps it up for the sidebar now let's get into the actual form itself so to change this form you're gonna click on the pencil and then you can edit all of the elements inside here so the headline right here you can change to have it say whatever you want it to say by editing this text here and then saving that out. You can change the highlight color or get rid of that highlight altogether. So if you didn't want the highlight in there, all you would have to do is just go ahead and remove that and it will remove the headline. So <clears throat> as you can see, you don't see a form in here anywhere. So you're probably like, okay, where in the world is this form coming from? let me show you so this form is actually from jot form uh, and its code is right here so this is the embed code for my jot form which I will show you right here jotform.com is where you can come and start making um, custom forms uh, gravity forms is another place that you can use forms and here's that form right here at jot form or you can use uh, a button straight to PayPal if you're using PayPal you can use gravity forms uh, 
there's a whole bunch of different form companies out there I just use jot form if you don't want to use this form and you just wanted a submit button down here what you can do is completely get rid of this element here well actually what we would do I'm sorry is replace this image right here with maybe some bullets so you would put a bullet block here and then select you know whatever little thing you wanted to use there and then we're going to enter your bulleted items right here and then I will show you what this looks like here in just a second you're gonna add your features you know kind of like a here's what you get type of deal and then list everything they're getting in there insert that in there and update and instead of having a button you could have your bulleted stuff there with the actual button uh, that goes to PayPal instead of hooked up with job form or whatever your form service is other than that uh, you would just need to change your footer layout with your disclaimers and all that. You can get rid of the footer altogether, or you can change your disclaimers in the menus. So you would just come to footer, and you would our layout settings. I'm sorry, and then footer area, and then you choose your disclaimers or get rid of them altogether by just toggling this to off, and that will get rid of it. So that wraps up the checkout process in the checkout page. That's it. I hope you enjoyed.